There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Thanks for coming today. You're a great audience. You don't laugh, do you? Joey Jackson. Oh, huge. Thank you so much for coming. Here you go. And don't try to forge a check with that. It'll probably buy. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, Mimi. Oh, <laughs> good. Joey, your show was great today. Oh, what's the matter with my show yesterday? Didn't you like it? <laughs> Here you go. Hey, how about you, Pooch? Huh? Did you like my show? <laughs> it's probably going to the dogs anyhow. <laughs> Oh, get a load of him. He looks like a, a critic for TV Guide Dog or something. Maybe he's my competitor's agent. Joey, we have to hurry. Come on. Oh, Louise, Louise. This is Louise, my business manager and also my trainer. <laughs> Let me just do one more. One more. Anybody else? Okay, there you go. I need a pencil. Wait, wait, wait. Who gave me this? Who gave me this paper? Come on, it's important, please. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Here! Hey, you stop! Hey! Got his autograph. Oh my god, that note. What happened to that note? What happened to the paper? I gotta have that paper. Oh, oh. Thanks again, fella. What is that? Oh, it's nothing, nothing. It's uh, my grocery list. Hey, you're a pretty bright guy. You wanna be a star? Joey Jackson interviewing a dog. I've seen everything. Are you kidding? He's a lot brighter than most of the guests I've had on the show. I could use it as a straight man, Star. What do you say? Joey, you got a press conference in half an hour. Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not up to it right now. Let's cancel it, okay? Joey, what's wrong? No, nothing, nothing's wrong. Look, why don't you get hold of Gabe, come over to my apartment, and we'll talk over the new schedule, okay? Okay, okay it's fine with me. How about you, Star? You want to come along, too? got the fundraising show for the kids at the end of the month. Gabe's gonna help you with that one. Yeah. What are you gonna do, Gabe? You're gonna play it straight or do your lovable dope routine? Well, everybody seems to like my dumb sidekick routine on the daily show, so maybe I'll use that for the fundraiser. Might help to shake loose a few extra dollars. How do you like this guy, Eloise? Huh, Mind like a steel trap and insist on playing the fool. <laughs> well, you know me, Joe. Anything for a laugh. Yeah. Well, the main thing is that we raise a lot of dough, that's all. Fundraisers, charity benefits, telethon. I don't know where you get the energy to do your regular show. No, it's easy. I just stick my finger in the socket and away I go. <laughs> Can we get back to business, guys? All right, all right, you guys. What, what's next? Well, I've rescheduled your press conference for later this week. Then there's the awards dinner on Friday, the benefits show on Sunday. What you got there, Star? Maybe he's a mail dog. You get it? Mail like the postman? <laughs> where did he get this? I don't know. What's the matter, Joey? Joey, what's the matter? What's going on? I can't explain. Not now, really. No, no, wait. Calm down. Just calm down. I can't what calm down. Matter? Nothing. Nothing is the matter. I just can't tell Look you. Look at you. You're okay. <laughs> Wait, I'll go with you. Now, just a minute. Don't you go anywhere. I gotta lose some weight. Yeah. Oh, no. 
This thing's temperamental. I'll never catch that guy. Come on. Oh, there it goes. this thing to yourself we're your friends you have to trust us look please be my friends will you leave now okay we're leaving but if you need anything anything at all look all i need is to be left alone okay louise can you wait a second uh, louise i'll uh, i'll wait for you at the elevator see you later joe louise did you send that anderson check you know i send it every month regular as clockwork you know, one day you're gonna have to tell me what that's all about. Look, it's no big deal. Just send another check to cover the rest of the year, okay? Okay. You take care. Hmm? So long, though. Ring, why don't you ring? Yeah, yeah, I got the letter. We know all about the Anderson accident. Well, who are you? You've been real nice to the family all these years, Joey. Now you're gonna be nice to us. Now you listen carefully and follow instructions. Well, well wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. If you don't want to blow your cover, Joey, you get 5,000 bucks together. Now that ain't too much for a rich guy like you with a big career at stake. Oh, you just sit tight. I'll call you back tomorrow just before the show and tell you where to drop the money. Just call him. He'll go along. That's right. You can keep him on the hook for plenty. I gotta run, Mr. Telford. There's a cop coming this way. with a motorcycle helmet. What have you got, Star? It's a motorcycle helmet? Hey, it's that guy from the motorcycle today. Where'd you get this? Never mind, I'm asking a dog to speak to me now. It's just an ordinary helmet. It's got no identifying marks on it. Phone number. Hey, it rings a bell. Little joke in there, Star. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hello, it's me, Joey. Hey, the craziest thing just happened. Yeah, you know the dog, Star? Well, he just handed me a piece of paper with your phone number on it. Well, he found it inside a motorcycle helmet. It was the same helmet that guy had on who was on the bike today. What? No, 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 I'm all right. No, no, don't have to come over. No, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. So long. I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe I'll let the whole story out, huh, Star? stupid, but uh, she said she'd come back oh. if I got a foot. A foot? Yeah. Well, what's a foot? I don't know. It's, I asked her to spell it. It's P-H-D, foot. Foot, P-H-D. <laughs> And including the research and the interviews, it took me two years to write the book. Well, I've read your book, Doc, and I think it's going to do an awful lot to inform the public of the plight of these unfortunate people. Joey, if my book can do even a fraction of what you've done to help the needy and the underprivileged, then I'm going to be a happy man. <laughs> oh, come on, Doc. Let's not get too saccharine. You'll give my audience a toothache. Hey, you can't go out there. What's he doing here? I think he's auditioning for your job. Hey, he's got a good shot at it. <laughs> I've heard of the Pony Express. This is ridiculous. Oh, I love things that come in a plain brown wrapper. <laughs> Joe, uh, Doc got your tongue? Oh, oh it's uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, uh, listen, Gabe, uh, isn't it time for a commercial break? No, no, plenty of time, Joe. Oh, well, uh, let's take one anyhow. You know, give the sponsor a chance to make an extra buck. Okay. Time for a commercial message, folks. Hang in there. <laughs> Joey, what's the matter? Uh, nothing, Louise. I, I just need a minute, that's all. Oh, you're upset. Look, why don't you go on home? Gabe can finish the show. Look, Louise, I'll be fine. Joey, will you listen to me? Now, you are right out of it today. Go on home and rest. We can talk about it there. Okay, maybe you're right, but I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. What's the matter with Joey? I don't know, Gabe. Look, you'll have to finish the show today. I'll make sure he's okay for tomorrow. Okay. The network isn't gonna like this. the studio. Well, what kind of shakedown is this? Well, I put the $5,000 in the car. 
Yeah, but well, where's that evidence you were going to leave for me? All I found was a note asking me to give you some more money. All right, all right, whatever you say. Joey, no, you can't win. Okay, look, same deal, understand? I'll, I'll go back to the studio, yeah. I'll put the money in the car. All right, all right, I'll go back on the air. Now, don't worry, nobody's going to stop you. But this is it, understand? Now, no more shakedowns, this is final. Don't you understand? This thing is going to go on and on and on. Who's blackmailing you and why? Louise, you like your job? Well, I like mine. Then let's keep it that way. Look, Joey, whatever you've done, it can't be worth all this. Believe me, it's worth it. Okay, will you keep Star with you? Well, I'll try. Hey, what are you doing? I remember you. You took that fellow's motorcycle helmet yesterday. What did you take today? Blackmail? I'd better report this. <laughs> Mary Ellen, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful, Marielle. Isn't she great? Sensational. And you got such a big voice. My gosh, I could hear you out in the street. Let's hear it for a Mary Ellen. What a great star. Just glad to have you. Hey, Joey, you're back. Yeah, the old pro takes back his own show. <laughs> you wouldn't believe this. I was outside and some guy said to me in the streets, hey, didn't you used to be Joey Jackson? <laughs> How do you like that? I'm off the show 10 minutes and I'm a has-been. Better to be a has-been than I never was. <laughs> never was. <laughs> I wish I'd have said that. You probably will. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, folks, where were we before you were so rudely interrupted? guest for today well joey we got a great all-around guy for well, you he's an athlete yeah a samaritan a, samaritan. a one in a million character mm -hmm. oh no not again hey you breaking in a new double act joe what's this hey that's cute uh, what's he do for an encore i think he did his encore you, you better let me have that Oh, yeah, sure. I, what am I going to do with $20,000? Hey, Gabe, uh, how did you know there was 20000 bucks in here? Did I say twenty? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was more or less. What do I know? Joey, we got to talk about this. Yeah, I think we do, Gabe. I know about Greystone. I'm going to tell it. Right now, on the air, unless... No. No, Gabe. 
I'm going to tell it. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I want to tell you all a story now. And I should have told it a long time ago, but I was, I was kind of scared. But thanks to a dog named Star, I realize it's time that I did. There was a dumb kid named Joey Jankovic. And when he was 17, he stole a car and he got involved in a hit and run accident. And he went to prison for it. Yeah, that's right, folks. It's me, Joey Jankovic Jackson. Well, I guess society figured I, I paid my debt. And I've tried to live a decent life ever since, but that's it, folks. I am an ex-con. So if you don't want to invite me into your homes, that's up to you. That's about it, folks. Thanks for listening, and believe me, <laughs> Those aren't the jokes. Joey. Gabe was your friend. Well, he was a desperate guy. You know, he had big gambling debts, payoffs to the bookmakers all the time. He needed money badly. So Gabe dug up the story, and he got Kramer to do all his legwork for him. Poor Gabe. You sound almost forgiving. I'm just trying to understand, that's all. But I'm sure glad the whole story is out. The phones haven't stopped ringing. Most of the comments are favorable. The people want you, Joey. Well, at least it means I can keep on raising money for needy kids, that's all. And those checks to the Anderson family. Louise, if you say one word to anybody, so help me. I swear, Joey. I'm the only one that knows, and I'm not going to talk. Well, what about Star? He knows. He could talk. <laughs> A dog talk? Well, look what he's done already. This character can do anything. Hey, I'm going to make you an offer. How about it, Star? How'd you like to be a regular on my show, huh? I'll even change the name of the show. I'll call it the, uh, the Joey and Star Show. How about Star and Joey? Maybe somebody made him a better offer. Hey, I'll do the jokes, Louise. You just look after me, okay? It's a deal. Oh, you got quite an act, Star. Like Gabe said, he's one in a million. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Until tomorrow the whole world is my home 